These are the top layer two hidden altcoin gems that you need to know about. In this video, we're gonna be covering layer two solutions that could potentially explode in the next bull market. What is up guys? Welcome to the Verse Crypto Channel, the most savage and degenerate crypto channel out there. My name's Chaos Chris and I'll be your host today. Before we hop this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so that we can keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information within this space. With that being said, let's hop right in this video. So we got another awesome video for all you degenerates today. And guess what? I got a special co-host, my boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Trey Souls. What is up, buddy? Hey, what's going on, Chris? I'm glad to be over here. We are getting this podcast rolling and going to be giving some people some awesome information about these layer twos. So I'm ready to jump in when you are. Okay. So, you know, enough talking. We're all about the business and let's just get into some really awesome information. So first question you might be asking yourself, what are layer twos? And without getting into, you know, the math and the science and turning this into a college class, essentially layer two scaling solutions are just small independent blockchains that connect to the layer one blockchain, which could be Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche. And they're essentially just used to transa uh, transact or use um, approved transactions off chain from the main chain. So a great example of a layer two scaling solution is Polygon for Ethereum. And this was one of the original ones. So when you say a side chain, you're talking like this thing is built because there's congestion on the main network. And this helps make things a lot easier for uh, transactions to be approved on these side chains. Essentially, yes. So, you know, the idea is you have the main chain and you have all these transactions being approved and ethereum had congestion issues where we saw the gas go up to like 200 dollars. so what a layer two scaling solution is it's like a um lifeboat or a raft where it'll take a bunch of the transactions that are meant for the main ethereum blockchain approve them on a side chain or a different protocol and then use that as a way to approve to decrease the amount of transactions being approved on the main chain now we're going to jump into different types of layer two scaling solutions because a side chain isn't the only type there's about uh, four to five more so we're going to kick off this next section and we're going to talk about the different types of layer two scaling solutions so there are four main layer two scaling solutions and they are state chains side chains zero knowledge roll-ups and optimistic roll-ups so to start off a side chain are separate blockchains that are linked to a main chain allowing specified assets to be transferred between them so some examples of side chains binance smart chain avalanche phantom essentially it's a copy of the ethereum blockchain with a few things different like the way they approve transactions except it's an independent blockchain and they usually put a bridge there so that if you're a protocol or a new project you can transfer from ethereum to that new chain so um you want to go with the next uh you want to go with the next one so yeah next we got the optimistic roll-ups they're the layer two solutions for ethereum they allow users to execute smart contracts off chain so without the need for each of the transactions to be approved on the main chain so optimistic rollups, what they do is they bundle transactions into a batch and assume that every transaction is valid and fraudulent transactions can actually be attested in about a seven day window. Yep. And so, and now lastly, we're going with, um, zero knowledge rollups, which are zero, zero knowledge proofs that are used to ex execute a batch of transactions on the main change chain so essentially what a zero knowledge uh proof is it's essentially a privacy transaction where you can take these transactions and um batch them up together and then approve them on the main chain now they're a little bit different from optimistic rollups where optimistic rollups will batch all the transactions together and automatically assume every single one is not fraudulent unless they're being contested now with the zero knowledge rollups there's a privacy element behind it, but also keep in mind, it doesn't assume that every transaction is valid and there's still that window to go in and say, hey, this might be a fraudulent transaction. So to give you a good idea, optimistic rollups require less gas, uh, ZK rollups require more gas, but the optimistic rollups and the ZK rollups are essentially 
very similar. Now, there's also one other uh, type of layer two scaling solution that I forgot to mention. The other one are state channels, which are layer two solutions that allow two or more parties to conduct multiple transactions off chain without the need for each transaction to be approved on the main chain. And a great example of a state channel is the Lightning Network for the Bitcoin blockchain. Essentially, the Lightning Network will take a Bitcoin transaction, approve it on um, the Lightning Network, and then we'll send it back to the Bitcoin Network to speed up the uh, transaction process on the Bitcoin blockchain because Bitcoin takes about an hour to approve a transaction and gas fees can get really, really high. So, so these Layer 2 solutions, uh, you're, ta- you're basically saying that they're going to be built out more and more as these the layer one blockchains experience more user activity. Absolutely. You know, um, the best way I think about it is like you have like Visa MasterCard and they have hundreds of thousands of transactions per second. If we were to do that on the Ethereum blockchain, gas could be like a thousand dollars a transaction. So the idea is as more things get digitized, we go to a decentralized future, we're going to need more layer two scaling solutions. So the future of blockchain technology isn't just one main blockchain. It's a bunch of blockchains with a bunch of layer two scaling solutions. So the ones that we're going to talk about today are some of the pioneers behind layer two scaling solutions, but they're definitely not going to be the last ones you'll ever see within the cryptocurrency space. So cool. So, um, just kind of getting into, you know, why are layer two uh, scaling solutions important? And I'll let my co-host kick it off. So why, why do you think layer two solutions are important, Trey? I mean, it seems that, like you said, we're about to be jumping into this era of complete decentralization. And there's all different types of applications or what you call dApps being built on these chains. And you can't have everything on one chain. As we're seeing with the Ethereum chain, we need we have the need for something like Pulse Chain, a fork that is going to allow people to build with less transactions. And so I think that the main problem that these Layer 2s are solving is uh, some of these high transaction fees. And it's going to be something that we see more and more as we are able to uh, apply decentralized life uh, onto these blockchains. So it, it seems inevitable that these things are being created. Absolutely. And, you know, I can't stress the importance, you know, this next bull market, um, there's always going going to be a theme. The last one was meme coins. And um, some people are saying this next one's going to be utility coins. Some say storage coins, interoperability. But in my opinion, I think it might be layer two scaling solutions. So Trey, as an investor, what is the number one cryptocurrency market that you are looking at in the next bull market. Keep in mind, not financial advice. Um, so right now, as an investor, I, I think uh, aside from what we're learning today about layer twos, I think AI coins are something that is extremely viable in this ecosystem that we're seeing in cryptocurrency. People, you know, I was actually teaching a class yesterday um, and they wanted to understand more about the usage of blockchain and why it's important. and they. I had to really kind of break it down for them that Bitcoin is almost like this stone age type of technology and we're seeing real applications, real world applications being built and there's no better place for AI technologies to be built on than onto the blockchain. So I think AI is something that's advancing more rapidly than anybody that is even in the industry can comprehend. And so to know where these AI coins and things are going, I think that's uh, one big focus that I have as an investor. Absolutely. And I couldn't agree anymore. So let's transition to the next section of our video and the, probably the section that every single one of you guys are excited about. We're going to talk about some awesome layer two scaling solutions that you need to know about. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to give you a couple bonus altcoins that not a lot of other people, influencers, or developers are talking about. And there's a good chance these things could do some absolute numbers. So our first hidden altcoin gem is optimism optimism is a layer two optimistic rollup meaning it functions on top of the ethereum mainnet um the best way to think about it is you're basically driving down a less crowded side street while benefiting from the security of a highway ethereum is the main security chain and the side street is optimism so optimism will batch up all these transactions and then approve them on the ethereum network Optimism is really taking uh, 
a benefit from Ethereum, which is the number one uh, smart contracts platform. And so a little bit of a background history behind this project is it launched on May 31st, 2022. And there was an airdrop to 231,000 uh, wallet addresses. After this airdrop, a bunch of people sold this token off and the price collapsed. People were upset and there was so much FUD behind optimism. Now, during the bear market, we saw this token appreciate 500% during a bear market. And it basically came back like LeBron James did against the Golden State Warriors. And, you know, to be honest, you know, this is a project that you need to start taking seriously. Now, the one thing that I love about Optimism is how they're positioning themselves to be a partner with Coinbase. As most of you guys know, Coinbase is coming out with a new layer two uh, scaling solution called Base. And essentially, Coinbase wants to use the same technology and work with Optimism to build out this layer two scaling solution. So right now, they're getting a strategic partnership with one of the largest centralized exchanges out there in the crypto market. So what are your over overall thoughts on Coinbase? Um, I mean, Optimism, I'm sorry. Uh, op yeah, Optimism, man. I mean, that's the, f the first point that I was going to make is that uh, you have... Layer, your layer two protocols like Polygon out there, they're partnering with Disney and they're they're growing up big and they have a spotlight on them. But if you have uh, competing chains like Optimism coming into the space and they're partnering with other behemoths like Coinbase, uh, it's obvious that those people who sold off in the airdrop a long time ago are going to be pretty upset with their decision uh, to come in the future. I, I think a lot of people recognize that, obviously, in the bear market with this thing rebounding. And I think we're going to see the best days yet to come for optimism. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the market cap's $519 uh, when at the peak of the bull market, Polygon got up to like $16 million. So you're looking at like a possible 32x if Optimism was able to do what Polygon did. So that's some really good money. And especially since it's $519 million, it's like a mid cap. So it's not too risky, but there's a little bit more of a risk side. All right, guys. So your second hidden altcoin layer two is ZK Space. And I like ZK Space for several reasons. It's uh, it's an all featured Ethereum layer two, and it's leveraging the ZK rollups that we talked about earlier uh, in the in the podcast. Uh, it's super exciting because for one, it has a Dex that's attached to it. It also has a wallet, and it has a layer two NFT marketplace. And so ZK Space, they built the main blockchain infrastructure to support to support decentralized apps, which is really going to lead to a striving ecosystem for for the zk space it's kind of a new uh, layer two scaling space and uh, right now it's got a market cap of around 13 million dollars so it's a lower uh, end uh, investment at this point but uh, it's going to be competing uh, with other chains like optimism that we just talked about and arbitrium and i think that this thing has a potential with all of its uh, different applications and uh, e in its ecosystem to really take off so um, what do you think about this this protocol chris yeah you know um What's interesting about ZK Space is it's definitely a low cap, extremely low cap. So it's about 13 million and it's probably closer to 20 to 23 million now. But essentially what they're doing is they're building out the infrastructure um, within their ecosystem. So rather than wait for a DEX to launch on this new layer two scaling solution, they're making it. They're making an NFT platform. They're actually deploying a naming space. So the idea is they create the infrastructure and once we start to see the con uh, congestion issues on Ethereum, dApps are gonna be looking at ZK space and be like, okay, the infrastructure is still there. Maybe I should go here rather than going to, you know, another ecosystem that's still trying to develop out. So essentially ZK space already laid down the foundation. They're just waiting for other dApps to come in and build the piles, the walls, of this beautiful house that's going to be forming. And my favorite part about it, low cap old coin gym. So if this project starts to blow up and you get in early, you have the potential to make some insane money, especially at a $20 million market cap. You don't see many coins like that with, with what they're proposing. So you were talking earlier about the optimistic rollups versus the ZK rollups. And so what kind of difference is that going to create in this space like what is it what what how does zk space differentiate itself from 
optimism in like layman's terms. So you have the ZK roll up and this one's going to be a little different because it, it's going to be using the, uh, the ZK technology, which means it's going to be like privacy transactions. So when they get approved off chain, it's not going to reveal information about your wallet or, or whatnot. And so the idea is these privacy coins are going to be part of the future of cryptocurrency since blockchain is open ledger. And also on top of that, it's not going to assume every transaction is, uh, um, it's not going to automatically approve every single transaction. So it's going to be a little bit more in the gas fee, but with the increase in gas fee, you get a privacy, you get privacy with your transaction. So that's, that's kind of the idea of the difference between ZK rollups and optimistic rollups. What, what, who do you think that that's going to appeal to as far as like large investors? Um, you know, uh, it's going to sound really bad, but you know, like millionaires and whales and, and stuff like that. Um, Blockchain's great because you can see all the transactions on the ledger, but also to a certain degree, people are going to want to make sure that um, there's a certain degree of privacy behind your transactions, but they also want to be censorship resistant. So that's the idea behind, you know, the ZK rollups and ultimately optimistic rollups and ZK rollups are very similar, but ultimately um, as for the future of the layer two scaling solutions, we just got to let them duke it out and see which one turns out to be the best, especially in this next bull market. So transitioning into our number three hidden altcoin gem. And this is a project that I absolutely love. I'm extremely bullish on. And the name of this project is Avantus. And this is something we cover on this channel a lot. And for those of you guys who don't know, Avantus is another layer two scaling solution. Um, the only difference is this is actually a side chain. It's proof of stake. Um, it connects straight to the Ethereum blockchain. And recently they actually won a relay chain spot for Polkadot. So now it's actually a pair chain for Polkadot. So there's this really cool interoperability where Avantus connects to EVM blockchains and also connects to Polkadot based blockchains. Um, some of the uh, functionality behind the blockchain is as uh, 2000, uh, TPS. So it has two, 2000 transactions per second. Um, the average, uh, approval time is about a uh, 0.13 seconds and the average price per transaction is about a penny. So overall it's 10,000% more efficient than Ethereum blockchain. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's a side chain and it has this interoperability element, but what makes this really great is the adoption side behind it. And Avantus has been going in and starting um, relationships with, you know, play to earn video games. They want to do NFT tickets. They're working on uh, payment systems. But w one other thing that they're doing that's really special is supply chain tracking. And so currently they actually have some uh, partnerships with airports to track baggage through flights for uh, specific customers. And so what Avantus is trying to do is take the blockchain and implement it with real world assets. And this is one of the few cryptocurrencies that's actually going down this route. And this is why I'm extremely bullish on this project. And also one last thing, the total supply of Avantus is 10 million tokens. So if this project starts blowing up, it could get to a price like Bitcoin, like $10,000 a token. And you know, at the time of this recording, Avantus is about $1.15. So there's a lot of upside behind this and it is definitely a small cap gem. So. Yeah, there's just a couple of reasons why I like this thing. I'd say there's three main reasons. And the first main reason is interoperability. Like you and I have talked before, it's the future. And I also think it's beautiful that they're doing things with global supply chain. I think we need real world uh, applications in blockchain. And I think that uh, what they've done with the luggage is just barely scratching the surface. There's all types of industry out there that could utilize this type of uh, application. So I think that that's amazing. And the third and final reason why I love this coin is the scarcity, man. Like you said, it's got that ability to skyrocket if this thing takes flight. So I think with such uh, practical applications, it's really got a chance. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, th this project um, did all right in the last uh, bear market. But like I've said, it still has yet to see its better days, especially if it can accomplish its mission that it's trying to accomplish. This video is sponsored by Love. 
Love is a hot new cryptocurrency launching on the Pulse chain. The decentralized project will be targeting three main fields, which are e-commerce, micro-tipping, and decentralized payments. Love is developing a decentralized marketplace that offers a wide variety of products from perfumes to designer clothes and offers cashback and cryptocurrency. If you want to learn more about this hidden altcoin gem, check out love at love.io. For your fourth hidden altcoin gem, we're going to be talking about Bubba Network. And let me tell you guys, Bubba Network, it's a really interesting layer two scaling solution. And it's a little bit different from uh, the traditional one. Now, Bubba Network, it's an optimistic uh, roll up. And essentially, the fees are going to be about 10,000% less than layer one blockchains. So they claim. I mean, it depends on how much the network's being used. Now, the one thing that keeps Bubba Network a lot different from other layer two scaling solutions is that the main thing that they're focusing on is they want to take web two and bring it to the blockchain. So the best, the best case for web two, the best idea behind it is, you know, like, like Facebook, your, your company website, this is web two. And what Bob Bob network is trying to do is create infrastructure so that if you have a web two website, you can just bring it to the blockchain. And is that, is that simple? So that's what they're mainly aiming for. And the, also another great part about the Bubba network is they're not only a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum, but they're the same for Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, Moonbeam, and Phantom. So they plug into a lot of layer two, uh, I mean, excuse me, a lot of layer one blockchains. And they're essentially being this ultimate layer two scaling solution so that they can really uh, pull in a lot of other communities. So, um, and the total supply of Bubba is fixed at 500 million tokens. And at the time of this recording, the market cap is only about $80 million. So it's, it's more of a low cap altcoin gem. So if this thing blows up, you can make some awesome gains, especially if the market cap gets to $1 million. So what are, what are your thoughts on Bubba Network? I mean, I like Bubba Network because it's appealing to social media platforms. It's appealing to game developers. Uh, it's going to allow them to plug and play and um, simplify their process rather than have them doing all this heavy lifting. So I think it's really awesome for those reasons and uh, the interoperability again with all these different uh, chains that it's able to interact with like Ethereum, Avalanche, these things are already crowded and, and so when I say crowded, I, I guess I mean that they already have users. Yeah, absolutely. If it pays off, it could be huge. Now, your fifth hidden altcoin gem is Metis. And let me tell you, Metis, out of all the other ones, this one I'm, I'm, I'm extremely bullish on. And I'm actually really excited to talk about this one. So Metis is building the first hybrid uh, optimistic rollup and ZK rollup. So we're actually doing a combination between an optimistic rollup and a ZK rollup. Getting and the, the best of both worlds. Absolutely. And it's this new technology that we we have not seen before. Now, um, to give you guys an idea of how this is going to work, um, so with optimistic rollups, it automatically assumes every transaction is not fraudulent, and it goes through the seven day window where you can go back and you know submit a fraudulent claim, and the transaction can get rolled back. Now, what Metis is trying to do is they're trying to create this. Uh, like in between this where it's a little bit zk roll up a little bit optimistic roll up and they're taking that seven day challenge window down to a four hour window so ultimately what you're going to get is a faster transaction approval less gas fees and it's also using the zero knowledge proofs where you have a privacy behind it so in my opinion if this project can do what it says it wants to do it could absolutely change the layer two scaling game. And with a new type of technology, there's a first mover advantage, which means that it will do the best and then you'll see copycats and they're not going to do as good as the main technology. So uh, what are your overall thoughts? 
I think it's awesome uh, that they're doing something that's completely different. I think being a first mover in the crypto space is uh, challenging, but it can have its advantages. And I think it's great because it's going to appeal to corporations and they're going to be able to launch financial and business products on the blo on the Meta's blockchain with the uh, fear of like these scalability and security issues, which is why I asked earlier kind of who you think do these these uh, ZK rollups and these security uh, layer twos are going to appeal to. And, and I really feel like corporations in mind, like you said, it's millionaires. Uh, it's going to be big corporations with, with big money to invest. So I think that's extremely appealing to uh, the, the market. And it's going to really show when we see this thing pop off to its full extent. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, so the total supply of Metis, just to add to that, is 10 million tokens. And right now the price is at $28. So... Um, the last all-time high was about $323, so that's like a 10x if it returns to its original all-time high. But if it blows up, you can see one of these suckers, one of these tokens go for like $1,000, $2,000. So, you know, high risk, high reward, but keep in mind, it is a new technology. So, your next hidden altcoin gem is Cartesi. And Cartesi is something that has been talked a lot through mainstream crypto and it's it's a really big layer two scaling solution that has yet to see its better days now cartesi is um essentially another layer two scaling solution and one of the biggest benefits behind it is the fact that it's using um god what was it called oh excuse me let's go back wait okay no, is this a ZK roll-up? All right, we might need to reshoot that bit. Damn, I did a really shitty job doing this. Okay. So going back. So your next hidden altcoin gem is Cartesi. And so Cartesi is another layer two uh, scaling solution. And essentially, it is a um, optimistic roll-up that can, um, that's built for the Ethereum blockchain. And it's also launching tokens on the Optimism Arch... Arbitrum and other ZK EVM uh, chains. Now, well, the biggest thing with Cartesi is that they actually use a computer programming language called Linux. Now, without getting too far into the weeds, there's different programming languages that each of these blockchain developers like to use. And Linux is something that's really big and a lot of people in the STEM industry use it to code different types of computer programs. Now, Solidity for Ethereum has a little bit of a learning curve. Linux is less of a learning curve because so many people have been using it, especially in college, high school, just everyday people. Not everyday people, but anyone who's experienced in this. And so what Cartesi is doing is they're trying to be multi-chain. They're introducing a really easy to use, uh, uh, really easy to understand uh, computer program. And also, they're trying to get into the gaming industry. So, what are your overall thoughts on Cart Cartesi? Uh, when I was looking at Cartesi earlier, I, I thought it was interesting that they, they had to break it down like like this, kind of in layman's. Uh, you, you go on to your, um, your Mac or to your PC, and you just automatically are able to use applications and things that have already been built but uh, what Cartesi seeks to do is create an operating system that's on blockchain so I really like this because it's an infrastructure uh, it's gonna be something that's extremely viable in the future when more and more things are able to be built on these operating systems that people want to build games they want to build things on blockchains and if they have an operating system to go in they don't have to go through all of the mud to get there they're able to use uh, something that's already understood like you said through the Linux runtime. So I think that it's going to be very viable in the future and it's extremely exciting to see. I think these guys are some of the first movers in the space building an operating system. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, right now the circulating supply is about 665 million tokens. Max supply is 1 billion. Market cap is 95 million. So if it's able to get up to that, you know, that polygon level, you can absolutely see this token exploding. Currently, the price of one token is 15 cents and the max price is $1.74. So it's about a 10x from here on out. And if it exceeds its all time high, you can see a massive return, not financial advice. So we got through all of our main coins. Those are our picks for the next bull market. But I got a little special thing, Trey. 
I got some bonus ones. Do you think uh, we should hop into them? Man, I'm always ready for more technology, so bring it on, man. Okay, all right. So I got two bonus altcoin gems because we love you guys so much. And one of them, very mainstream right now. The other one isn't mainstream. So definitely stay tuned to the very end. So the first one is Arbitrum. And if you guys have been paying attention to the crypto markets, Arbitron just did a massive airdrop. And this layer two scaling solution is an optimistic rollup. It's been around for a minute and a lot of dApps have actually been building on top of this uh, optimistic rollup, even though Arbitron doesn't have a token yet. Well, they do now. So essentially they did a massive airdrop and Last time I checked, the price, the launch price was, I think it was like $5, and then it dropped down to a dollar, and people are still claiming out their tokens. Now, what I love about Arbitrum is that they already have 324 dApps launched onto this Layer 2 scaling solution. 324 before they even had a token. And on top of that, there have been several decentralized finance platforms that have been using this new layer two scaling solution which which is sushi swap curve and abracadabra so you can already see some adoption going on now the one thing that i love about arbitron is that they have something called arbitron orbit which is a permissionless platform for launching custom l3 chains on the arbitron ecosystem using the arbitron nitro stack now essentially what translating that into um simpler terms it's a lot easier for these Ethereum-based dApps to move over to Arbitrum if they start getting uh, uh, caught up in the Ethereum blockchain congestion. So they're also building a great infrastructure for new uh, tokens to launch on this blockchain. And so right now, um, there's about a total supply of 10 billion tokens. There's, there's 1.25 billion circula circulating in the market right now so we're going to see more of these tokens uh release and it's about a buck 20 per token so once we start to see more of these tokens get out in the circulation and we wait for the price to drop a little bit more from the sell-off this could very well be a play down the road i'm not saying right now but it's something you want to keep your mind on keep your mind on and keep on your watch list what are your thoughts on arbitron I mean, I think with 324 dApps being built on it before there ever was a token, it's showing you how necessary these layer two protocols are. And so I think with that type of adoption before there's any kind of token, I think it's definitely something to keep your eyes on. Absolutely. Now, our final bonus altcoin gem. And I'm gonna tell you, this, this might be my number one uh, layer two scaling solution for the next bull run. And it's something nobody's talking about. So the name of this layer two scaling solution is Aurora, Aurora, Aurora. I don't know if I said that right, but essentially Aurora is a layer two protocol for the near blockchain and it can execute smart contracts for the Ethereum virtual machine. And so essentially it's a side chain and the main gas token is Ethereum. And so what dApps can do is they can actually move over to Aurora and then go to the near blockchain. Now, long story short, what the near uh, protocol is, it's basically Ethereum, but in the future. And it has all the components of Ethereum from proof of stake to the smart contracts, except they have something called sharding. And sharding is basically um, a bunch of little mini chains that go through and approve transactions so that it increases the scalability of the blockchain. And so one thing that Vitalik Buterin was talking about was the near protocol is the number one competitor for the Ethereum blockchain. And so what the what the programmers and uh, the developers of, of near did was they created the Aurora layer two scaling solution to bring over eth Ethereum dApps so that they can go f onto the Aurora layer two scaling solution. And then they can also go onto the near blockchain. So in my opinion, it's absolutely genius. And they're using the Ethereum uh, coin as the main gas token on that layer two scaling solution. Now, there's a downside. The tokenomics behind the Arroyo token is pretty bad. It's essentially a governance token. So there's no burning fees. There, there, there's not too much going on. And that's the main downside. So in my opinion, I think the developer is going to have to add some more utility behind this token, whether it's like some sort of, uh, uh, 
deflationary like where they burn some of the tokens over time or they find a way to uh, decrease the supply but overall this ecosystem has the potential to absolutely boom if the near protocol can pull off what it's trying to pull off what are your thoughts on on arroyo i think like you said man if vitalik is talking about how this thing has the potential to be its greatest competitor uh, you better be looking out for the near protocol and the Aurora protocol in the future because they're doing some things that uh, maybe necessarily Ethereum hasn't done or has doesn't have the capability to do. And I think that's what we're seeing with a lot of these layer twos is, is trying to create and make up for some of the incompletions of the Ethereum blockchain. So when you've seen Ethereum out for as long as it's been out and now you have the chance to innovate in that space, it seems like Aurora and Near are really trying to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And what I'll, another thing I want to add that I absolutely love about this uh, project is they have a community treasury of 200 uh, of a bunch of Royal tokens. So um, essentially, well, it's 200 million tokens, but essentially when projects want to launch, they'll, they'll actually give you these tokens to help fund your like DAP on their new ecosystem. And the total supply of Arroyo is 1 billion. The circulating supply is 106 million. So a lot of those tokens are still locked up. And the market cap right now is sitting at $32 million. So in my opinion, if near protocol blows up, we're gonna see the Arroyo token blow up as well because it's like the number one gateway from Ethereum to the near protocol. So it's definitely one that you don't wanna sleep on and you definitely want to keep your eye on it in case you know the developers come along and add some new utility so i'm extremely bullish on this token i absolutely love it it's not financial advice but something i think every investor should keep their eye out on so so guys that's it for the video those are our top layer two hidden altcoin gems leave a comment down below let us know what what your uh, favorite project is and also you know join our telegram we talk about all sorts of crypto alpha, new projects. You know me and my boy Trey Souls, we're degenerates and we always like to go for those really high risk projects. And we also like to talk about some awesome crypto. So yeah, thank you guys for joining, uh, checking us out today in the channel. Before you leave, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. See you in the next one.